Gun Wyoff Trips Pats, also known as U Trips, has been one of the best offenses in Madden for as long as I've been playing. This is in the Patriots playbook. We're going to be showing you a little mini scheme today out of this amazing, amazing playbook and uh, this amazing formation. This formation is really effective in this year's game. For the audibles, we have curl flat. Um, you can have whatever run that you want. Uh, and then what I like to do within this, with this offense this year is we're going to have the play tight end whip, and we're going to have the play scat as kind of our main audibles. And then our base play is going to be this play Y option wheel, if I can find it here somewhere. Y option wheel, wherever you are. There he is. And we're going to show you a couple setups here that I like to use. So this formation is really effective, especially against double A gap, just because of the spacing of the field. And all I like to do here is we're just going to corner out the tight end, and we're just going to snap the ball. And what you're going to see is if they're in cover four hard flats or cover three hard flats, anything like that, the tight end is going to be wide open to the sideline. Now, if they're in these curl flat zones, then you might need to kind of be patient and just check down to your to your post route over the middle field. The other thing that you can do, though, is you can kind of throw this here in possession, catch it before that curl flat defender has a chance to react. Most people are not going to sit in, like, purple zones. And the reason why is because you're just going to be able to hit the flats on them all day long. You could put your running back on a flat too, but basically here you'll see if the user, if they switch stick to go guard the tight end, oftentimes that opens up the middle of the field, which is where your post route is going to be attacking on this play. So this is such a simple play, but it's one of my favorites just because it attacks a lot of the field uh, well. If they're not playing hard flats, you know, we can just check it down to our running back in the flat, kind of take what the defense gives us type deal. The... Uh, the other thing that I like to do, or the other reason why this play is really effective, I'll show you against man. So if they do run man coverage, and kind of get into this against man, you'll see that this tight end corner does a really good job at being able to attack man coverage consistently uh, for easy, uh, easy, easy yardage. The other thing that you can do here within this formation is if you want to, you can put this outside receiver on a corner route or a, a curl route and stem him all the way up. And what this will do is if they're impressed man to man, this curl a lot of times will just basically glitch past him, and this can be a one play touchdown against press man. Whereas a fade, it sometimes wins, it sometimes loses. Whereas the curl route, if they try to press you and they don't have a safety help over top, it's a touchdown every single time. So now, if you think about it, they have to have uh, safety help. They have to have safety help like this, and so because they have to have safety help then this opens up the entire middle of the field now for our post route to be able to work. Also, we have this running back wheel, and this running back wheel does uh, a pretty good job of getting over the top of man that you can throw. So you're able to beat man on the left, on the right. And so a lot of times, if they're going to play man on you on U-trips, they're going to have to be in cover two man shade down. And then what that's going to open up is your corner route to the right or your backside post, super effective at beating man. What's really cool about U trips is honestly my favorite thing about the formation is, is this uh, the solar receiver. This, these routes are so good. So what we're going to do is we're going to now go over kind of one of my other favorite plays from this. And you can do this out of any play, but I like this play out of this play because we have this post route. So what we're going to do is we're going to block our running back. We're going to drag our tight end. We're going to do that same stem trick, but this time we're going to do it on the slot receiver. So we're going to streak or curl the slot receiver and we're going to stem him all the way up and then we're going to in route this outside receiver so this is what the play is going to look like this is one of my favorite route combinations just to beat every coverage you'll see again if they play press man to man that slot receiver can uh, just absolutely shred that coverage and then the other thing is if they play press man to man sometimes in this year's game just with the way zones play this stemmed curl can actually get open up the middle, up the middle. So like just an inside pass lead and you just aggressive catch it or cut it off could be an option. I wouldn't stress it too much against cover two man specifically. If they have two safeties there, that means there's a lot other, uh, there's a lot more open. So the rest of the play, you're going to look at this tight end. 
Tight end is super good against man. Make sure you're trucking with your tight ends. The truck with the tight end is normally really effective in this year's game. And again, they're going to have to have two safeties over the top because of what we just showed you. So now you just have, you know, very simple. Oh, they guarded that. Look at my tight end. That's not there. Look at my post. Okay, I can see I can throw that. That post right is super money. And they're going to have to use that. And what that's going to do is because they have to use the post, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pull their user out of the middle of the field. And then you're just going to be able to check it down to this drag uh, or backside in route. If he ever runs his route, you can just check it, check it down to that in route. Now this is also kind of the same prep pattern that I like to use against zone. Against zone, see here, tight in. And that tight in is going to be money against a lot of coverages. It's, it's a super hard, um, super hard route to defend in this formation. What you see here, just boom, tight end drag, easy read. We're just taking what the defense gives us. But what this play really does a great job of is it just creates a lovely high-low read in the middle of the field, which nobody really wants to have to defend this post all the way over here. But you have to, right? So those are a couple setups that I love out of uh, – Y option wheel. And now we're going to start attacking kind of the left side of the field. So the way we're going to attack the left side of the field of this formation is we have these curl routes. So what I like to do, um, one of the easiest ways to attack this left side of the field actually is to just put a stemmed curl route here. If we go back to that Y option wheel play, we're going to use this wheel and then we're going to have the stemmed curl all the way down. And you'll see here that this stemmed curl, if it would let me call it, let's say I'm in like cover four, watch this stemmed corner. See, I can kind of throw this. Now, the only reason I couldn't throw that is because there's a purple or a curl flat zone. But most people aren't going to put curl flats. And if they do, there's other stuff open. What you'll see here is the hard flat doesn't defend it. And it's basically just a back shoulder throw consistently that I can hit against cover three or cover four coverages. So then what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to start, you know, basically dropping a purple. Well, then I can just throw this wheel route right in this little pocket. So it's a love, um, I love this little two-man game. Another way that you can kind of approach this two-man game is through using a table route and the stem. So you see here, they'll go to the corner and then you can just throw the table. And this is just some of my favorite things to do because we can just use these two-man games all day and just get simple high-low reads that are super hard to guard like this. So that's one way that I can attack kind of that left side of the field. Another general rule of thumb is you always want to run this offense with your trips to the wide side of the field. So in this example here, I'm showing all these plays from the left hash. If I was on the right hash, you're going to notice that my trips, they're really compressed over there on the right side. It's not super effective for spread formations. So what we want to do is we want to flip at the play call screen, and we're going to flip everything that I've been teaching so far in this little uh, mini guide. You know, So now we can do that same idea over here. Okay, he backs up. We just take that check down read, and we just try to make somebody miss underneath. So that's one of my favorite ways to kind of attack that isolation side. Another really simple uh, way in which you can attack kind of this left side of the field is through usually using this play curl flat. And what we're going to do is we're going to stem this curl on the left all the way up, kind of like we were talking about for man coverage. And then on the right side of the field, what I like to do is I love to have a post kind of from this outside guy and an in route. So it looks kind of like this. And we're going to motion this slot across and snap about right here. And you're going to see this just creates a really nice high-low read over here on the left side. Now, if you want to, uh, you can go ahead and block your running back for additional pass protection. And you can kind of run the play like this as well. You see they back up super far. I can just take my tight end. And then if they come underneath, then what I can do is I can look for this corner kind of right here. So really good play uh, for manipulating zone. Now, one of my favorite plays this year is out of tight end whip. 
The reason I like Tidal Whip this year is because you have a lot of really unique routes, uh, one of them being this outside guy. So if I were to look at this play Titan Whip, you'll see that this outside receiver can be stemmed up. And so I like to stem him up to about 15 yards. We're then going to flat this outside guy. We're going to flat our solo, and we're going to streak our running back. This is a very horizontal concept. And what makes this so good is, these, is this zig just gets in a really soft spot against basic cover three, cover four, cover two. So how they're going to have to defend this is they're going to have to shade underneath to get the yellow zones to defend this. And then what that does is it opens up the left side yellow so I can throw this running back route. And because that's the user, the user probably will end up going to the running back, right? So because the user will end up going to the running back on all this, this is where stemming this route up is going to allow me to throw this against cover four. And you'll see kind of right in this pocket. It just gets into such a nice spot of the field. And it really makes this offense, I think, really good. Um, because, again, if they want to play main coverage on us, you know, we can go back to that tight and whip play. And this is still going to be really effective. Again, I like to stem it up basically between 12 to 15 yards, somewhere in there. But this post is really good against man. Of course, I say that I get bagged. <sighs> and if you don't want to get bagged by that, you can also just you can also just do this, where you just in route him. And of course, he's not going to run. Uh, <laughs> press man is press man is something else. You're going to have to have some plays for press man this year, boys. Let's go back over this one more time. Now, of course, you have the tight and whip uh, route. I just want to show, like in the event that we actually do get bagged here. That's crazy that that's that real. You can catch the running back route. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess we're going to, you know, to beat press man, you use the curl route <laughs> uh, that we showed you. But really, it's it's normally this this post, if it can actually run his route, he gets in a really nice spot against man. He's got to catch the ball now, too. So we got him to run his route. Now let's see if we can get him to catch. Professional football player out there just kind of doing whatever. Uh, but I did want to show this tight end whip so you know I'm not crazy. You'll see when he cuts, he beats man. So you just have a lot in one play for them to have to guard, uh, which is why I love this play. Another setup I like at a curl flat is just a good old-fashioned slant post concept. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the tight end on an out route so that can beat man. We're going to stem the curl on the left all the way up so that can beat press man. And this is kind of just an all-out man beating play. And then we're going to slant this outside trips receiver, motion him across, and we're going to block the running back. And I love this play because this uh, motion slant with this post is normally really good for beating man. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I'll tell you what, these, uh, these Chiefs are dogs. These Chiefs are dogs. And I'll show you one other cool uh, thing you can do against man as well in a minute. But the main thing I want to show – is how this post route on the right cooks man and this slant and this out route together. All these can be really good for man. You see, kind of get some confusion here. And then we get this. So, again, why do they have to do what do they have to do? If they want to play man bump, they have to be in cover two man, right? They have to be in that cover two man. So, because they have to be in this kind of cover two man uh, defense. This is where, you know, now your slant, uh, your slant post. First of all, look at that tight end out route. Normally that tight end out route is really effective. Uh, you could also do this with the whip route if you want to. It's the same idea because now you can hot route posts. But let me show you from a curl flat. I'll stem him all the way up. And tight end, and then I have my slant, and then I have this post. And you see this post just cooks man coverage. So now against zone coverage. Against zone coverage, really it's just it's really just the same reads. You see that out. 
really the read against zone is that post. And I wish the wish the game would kind of cooperate with me a little bit here. We'll go back to curl flat. Snap about right here. Boom. And you see here, watch this post. You can throw it all the way across the field like that. So that's one of my favorite money plays. I uh, can kind of use it to beat a lot of different coverages. Another thing you can do with this curl flat play this year is it's actually really good for beating cover three. So what I like to do with this to make it beat cover three, we're going to put that corner route on that right side. We're going to stem this post up to about 15 yards. And we're going to streak this tight end. And then I like to have a backside slant, just kind of running backside to help the, hold the user. And you'll see that this post can really manipulate cover three this year. Now, as far as creating, you know, coverage beaters, one of my favorite money plays that I like, you can do this out of pretty much anything. Um, it's, it's really a hot route play. What we're going to do is we're going to post our tight end. And then we're going to... We're going to drag this solo receiver, and then uh, with his outside guy, you can kind of do whatever you want with him. And then the main thing I want to show you is you're going to put this slot receiver on the out and stem him up. And basically, you'll have a high-low between your out route on the right side. And really, you can do this from um, you can do this from scat as well. So, but let me show you when you motion. Let me see if this works here. Oh, I guess it's not going to give me the option. That's super odd. Okay, well, we'll reset this, and we'll show it out of SCAT then. So SCAT has this sharp, cut cor sharp cutting corner, really effective. So what I like to do is kind of a combination like this where we have this post, and then what I would do on this backside here is I would probably just have this dude on the right either running a streak or, you know, whatever. The streaks in this year's game off motion, they actually do a pretty good job of – getting up field to clear out for zones and stuff. So that's something else that you could do with this. But this is a good play. Uh, and again, the reason why it's good is because of this place, uh, of this corner route. You know, and then you can kind of however else you want to put those other two routes on the field. But then you have your tight end post coming across. And that tight end post is pretty good at, at frying man. Um, another thing you could do is just a simple tight end post. With a streak, you might stem that tight end post up just a little bit. And we're going to combo like this. And you'll see that that tight end post just kind of gets into a soft spot of the zones. But in general, this is this is pretty much what I do out of U-trips. The best play, in my opinion, is tight end whip. I think this uh, with this post route this year, how this post route runs, it, it makes it super hard to guard. And you have the running back. So. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you want to check out my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure you join the school school community, school.com slash Cody Bowers, where you get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and for College Football 25.